Welcome back my eclectic souls. My name is Adriana and I'd love to welcome you back today. We are going to go ahead and just get right to it. This week's video we worked on the Gina Montana costume for Halloween. It is a little bit tedious than usual but if you have a dress or pencil skirt and low plunging neckline shirt it'll work just fine for this. I used a plunging neckline bodycon dress so if you have one of those go ahead and just take that on out. The fabric I will go ahead and link below but it was let's just say a little bit of a pain to sew with as there is slightly a bit of glue that attaches a sequence to them so I had to just keep an eye on my sewing needle on my sewing machine while I was sewing. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. For this costume, I decided to use a bodycon dress, as you can see here. I'm going to go ahead and just lay it flat on my fabric I'm using. This is actually a lining fabric underneath. And I am double layering it just so that I can kind of knock out the two panels at once. Make sure you pin it down as this fabric that I'm using is very, very loose and goosey, so it does move. I went ahead and just added about an inch there around the hips because I need extra wiggle room as the bodycon is stretchy and it stretches about an inch when I am wearing it. So whatever dress you are using or skirt, make sure you're keeping that in mind. After completing one side, I went ahead and just found the center and folded it over just so that I have both sides looking the same. Once we've completed that, you should have two panels. Once you have your two panels, you can go ahead and select one panel to be the back portion of your skirt. We're going to go ahead and make the incision for the zipper just in the lining fabric in case you know you mess up. And when it's all good, you can go ahead and apply it to the main fabric a little bit later. Now that we have that done, you can go ahead and face the panels right sides together and pin the hip side. Once you've got that down, you can go ahead and sew them together. Now that you have your lining fabric, you can go ahead and use that to copy onto the main fabric. And again, you go ahead and lay the fabric right side together and sew the hip side. At this point, you should have now your lining fabric done and your main fabric. We're going to go ahead and flip that main fabric inside the right way and then go ahead and insert the lining fabric inside. When you do this, make sure you are aligning the hip seams together so they are correctly matched. Also keep in mind that you want the nice side of the lining fabric touching your skin so you want the wrong side of each fabric to match. Here we are also going to finally add in the zipper. I use the lining fabric to cut that incision there and sewing a zipper is tedious and ridiculous so I won't show you guys that. Once the zipper is done you can go ahead and flip it inside and start hemming the bottom of the skirt. It's always nice to pin down your hems or anything right before you sew it just so you can have an idea what it may look like. Once you've got that down, go ahead and sew the fabrics together. Some of my stitches were wonky because the sequence fabric is kind of gluey and sticky, so it had a hard time living life on my sewing machine. <laughs> so once you've got that down, go ahead and try the skirt on. And you can see here that the waist needed to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and add two darts around the bum area. A dart is typically a triangle, so just like so, so that and you'll have it cinched together. Now that that is completed, we are actually all done with the skirt portion. Moving 
moving on to the bust, we're going to go ahead and use the top portion of my bodycon dress. But if you don't have that, just a plunging neckline shirt and maybe even a bra would work. I went ahead and laid it on its side and decided to pin around. I still don't have one of those fabric markers or pencils, so I just pin away my life here. Once you've got it pinned down, I did look at the pictures or even the movie of Gina's dress and it goes into a slant instead of a square back. So I just went ahead and altered that. Once it is cut out, you can go ahead and lay it on top of your main fabric and again, go ahead and just trim away. Having both bust panels, we can go ahead and begin draping on our bodies. I don't have a mannequin, so I used my own body because it's made for me anyway. We are going to go ahead and just straighten out the bust line there, and it's going to kind of go into a V. Not connected the bust panels, but attaching it into a V shape to the skirt. So I'm just folding the fabric over, finding the liking that I really like, and pin away again. Once you have the, the neckline completed, you can go ahead and start draping the item around your waist. And you can see the fabric is a little loose here. I needed to go ahead and add a dart to the butt. Now that the bust piece has been completed and formed to your shape, Go ahead and replicate it with the lining fabric attached on the other side. Here you'll see that I had pinned down and where I felt folded the main fabric over, I'm going to have to go ahead and sew a straight line down. Here I pinned it so you can flip and have an idea of what it will look like once it's sewn down. Now you can go ahead and sew the area on both corners and you'll go ahead and end up with a triangular piece. I kept the reference bust piece just so that I have the accurate placement of where the dart should be and an idea of how this end piece should be sized too. To sew the dart, again, create a triangular stitch right down the center. Now, we're gonna go ahead and connect the two, the bust pieces and the skirt. As the bust piece goes into a V, we need to go ahead and locate the center of our skirt. Once that is located, you can go ahead and begin pinning the bust panels onto the skirt. As you're pinning, you'll want to angle the back portion of the bust piece to create that nice transition into the skirt.
as we've got both sides pinned, you can go ahead and flip and have an idea of what the end product will look like. Make any adjustments that you need, unpin or repin if needed, and you should be good to go to sew. The absolutely last part to finish our dress is to add the neckline. I needed to add just about 5 inches so I used some scrap fabric that was right around the right width that I needed and just added an extra inch for tucking it into those triangular ends there. Keep the right sides together and sew the edges and you'll end up flipping that out once you are totally completed. Remember to trim excess fabric just so it lays flat. Once that is completely flipped, you can go ahead and sew that into the bust pieces. And you're all done. Now let's rock it.